Hello, this is Cameron from SpawnMagic.com, and I am sharing my take on the process used to grow oyster mushrooms on straw using cold pasteurization based on hydrated lime. In order to do this, you'll need the following materials and items. Shredded straw, high-yield hydrated lime, oyster mushroom spawn, water, a vessel that allows you to soak and drain your straw, a tarp or flat clean surface to mix the straw and spawn together, bags or other containers that let the inoculated straw colonize and fruit. The first step is to get shredded straw. You can buy compressed straw at Tractor Supply for $17 per bale. This is expensive, but it allows you to bypass shredding the straw yourself. A better option if you are going to do this more frequently is to get a Landworks leaf mulcher and shred your own straw. Two string straw bales, so that way approximately 50 pounds can often be purchased for from local farmers for three to six dollars. And the leaf mulcher can shred the bale 10 to, in 10 to 15 minutes with the added benefit of the straw being shredded much smaller than you could otherwise buy. Shredded straw gives significantly higher yields, but if absolutely needed, you can use regular straw, just expect a lower yield. Once you have shredded straw, you will want to soak it in water and lime solution for 24 hours. It is very important that this soaks in a vessel that allows you to easily drain it. We use a 55 gallon drum with a pump at the bottom that allows us to drain most of the water. The pump has the added benefit that it can circulate the lime solution to ensure that the lime fully dissolves into the water and that the straw and lime solution are evenly mixed. If you do not use a recirculating pump, you will want to fully dissolve the lime in the amount of water you use before adding the solution to the straw. If you add the lime to the straw and water mixture directly, it will not disperse properly and some of the straw will not get pasteurized. This improperly pasteurized straw will likely lead to contamination. Once the straw has fully soaked with the lime for 24 hours, drain the solution and let the straw sit for another hour or so to completely drain. If you do not properly drain the straw, water will accumulate at the bottom of the bags. This can turn nasty, make a mess, and lead to contamination or lower yields. To mitigate this, if you see water accumulation, you can add a hole in the bottom of the grow bag so that it drains. Once the straw has fully drained, add spawn. Be sure that the spawn is broken into many small pieces as this will provide more inoculation points and lead to faster colonization. 4% grain spawn works well, but adding more will only improve yield and reduce colonization times. Thoroughly mixing the spawn throughout the substrate is important as it ensures faster colonization times and reduces the chance of contamination. Once the spawn is mixed into the straw, you are now ready to start adding it to the final container, such as a bag or bucket, where it will colonize and grow mushrooms. Compressing this mixture into the container so that it is more dense will improve its performance. Once the mix is in its grow bag, cut holes so that it may breathe. This process and substrate requires that it has a good ability to breathe during the colonization phase. Keep your colonizing straw in a place that is around 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit with high humidity, humidity and with fresh air exchange. It will begin to colonize within a day or two and should fully colonize and begin to fruit within two to three weeks. You should expect anywhere from 100 to 170% biological efficiency, meaning for every dry pound of shredded straw, you should get a pound to 1.7 pounds of fresh oyster mushrooms. A 50 pound bale of straw has the potential to yield 85 pounds of fresh oyster mushrooms over the course of several flushes. For more information, you can visit our blog linked below. Or if you have any questions about this process or would like to learn more, feel free to text or email me. My contact info is provided on our website, spawnmagic.com.